Barisan national leaders say the coalition paid a price by fielding Pakasa Vice President Zulkifli Nordin as the Shah Alam candidate in the 13th general elections. Zulkifli's nomination was seen as controversial as the leader had been caught on video belittling the Hindu religion, which he claims was recorded 10 years ago when he was in pass. This led to even MIC leaders urging Indian Malaysians not to support him during the election. Zulnardin was not fielded as a candidate. Barisa National would have easily got another 20 uh, parliament seats to be won because if you look at the demographics, Kota Raja, Kappa, Shah Alam, all the area where uh, nearby where Zulnardin contested, we have a lot of high population of Indians. In Kota Raja, we have 30% of so you Indians. Think that was a mistake. I, I personally think that was not a good strategy. MIC's Madhu Marimutu was part of a panel discussion on the future of BN on Kini TV last Friday night. Another panelist, MCA Vice President Ganping Siu, echoed Madhu's sentiments. But he said that Zulkifli's eventual defeat worked out for the nation in the end. I think it served the nation well. Yeah, that, a lesson. Uh, we, want to, we don't lesson. want uh, uh, leaders come up with a strong stance. And but how did it happen then? How did it even happen? If, if but as I said, it's a choice that I cannot, I couldn't understand. But anyway, the outcome of it is, is, is yeah. good. The yeah, people have to speak, even and at least they will give Naj Najib the yeah, PM next look. round. Not that I don't want to try. Well, that is not people want. So at least you can explain to the um, Amno or the Malay community. Look, a leader of this nature, sorry, is out of time. Uh, so we, this, this. Uh, a racist is something to be shameful about or, or claim to be uh, or someone alleged to be a racist. Also on the panel was Amnos Kulai MP Norjaslan. Sumisha Naidu, Kini TV.